Good morning from Arequipa, Peru. My name is Ivana and today we're actually flying back to Lima. We can, well, we are hungry again, also. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trolling again? <laughs> Rosario is back. Hey. Hi. <laughs> and we're off to a seafood restaurant in Miraflores. Hola. Unfortunately, there were no vegetarian empanadas. I am so jealous because the empanada smelled so good. That's really good. Can I see it? Can I see it? Just show me the food porn. I want it. Oh, look at that. It's a shrimp empanada. Whoa, looks so good, man. Yes, please. Yes, please. Eat it for me. <laughs> Getting our starters. So, Rosario and Mo have ceviche. And also, what is this ceviche? This is a ceviche made of uh, what we call the black shells. It's okay. called from the north, from the mangroves. It looks amazing. Yes. Ooh. Lota and I have the vegetarian version, which is mushrooms and sweet potatoes, and corn, fresh onions. Yes. Mariko wins the jackpot here. Wow. Wow. Gorgeous ceviche. But the veg options are good too. So good, man. It's like lemon and mm. garlic. Lemon, garlic. Really good. Our main dish has arrived. Lota and I have, well, she has like the veggie noodles. I have the veggie rice. Yes. And then Rosario has uh, octopus sushi. Sushi? It's octopus, really. Oh, looks amazing. Mo, some soup, some fish soup probably. I guess. Marika, Whoa, sushi. sushi, so good. And you're being very healthy. <laughs> Super healthy. So this is an omelet with shrimps and scallops and some kind of like probably ceviche sauce kind of. It's good. Creole sauce. Creole sauce. It's good. The food party just doesn't stop in Peru. There's so much good food, so many varieties of food, like they can take one fish and make like 100 dishes of this. Mm. This is some good veg fried rice. Do you see how many veggies are in there? Mm. One, one at a time. <laughs> Dessert. So these are picarones. I saw this on another table in the restaurant and I was like guys we need to try this because we almost skipped dessert Rosario <laughs> yes you're very right you're very right but this like we need to try this looks like like thin donuts I don't know what the sauce is like caramel or something we need to... what is it fig leaf fig leaf oh my goodness wow yeah yeah of the wow I seriously can't wait to try this these are like massive rings I can tell you that look at my head I just asked Rosario and apparently this is made with pumpkin and sweet potato that's absolutely brilliant and then the, like the big juice syrup this is good mm. look at that oh look at that drop yeah Mm. It's like a thin donut. It's like an uh, olibo. Yeah, a little bit. We have this Dutch snack it's called olibola. But this is like the thin version. Good. That was an amazing meal and the food party is not over yet. Stepping into the market. Ooh, it smells so good here. Look at the avocados. Avos. Mm. Oh, 
Rosario, explain yourself. What is this? What are we seeing over here? What is this? These are worms called suri. They come from the jungle. Peruvians. This is insane. Wait. Guys, look at this. My goods, like the size of like my finger. Like they are more huge than my finger. But you eat it alive. You eat it alive. Yes, we just move it. We eat it. Otherwise, we just put. Do you like it? Well, I tried it. <laughs> Do you like it? I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's already like more brave than me. Like I would, I would say like hell no, like not happening, never in my life. Like, can you see that juicy maggot? Mmm, yeah. Mm, no, no, never in my life. Not a chance. Never in my life. Even if I wasn't vegetarian, like not happening ever, ever, ever. No, no, no. Would you guys eat it? Let me know down in the comments below. Would you eat a maggot from the Peruvian jungle? So much quinoa guys, look, black quinoa, red quinoa, regular quinoa, do you know how much we pay for this in Europe? Wow, all kinds of dried fruits, look at this, dried pineapple, dried apples, mango I guess, yum! Not trying the maggots, but we are currently trying at Inca peanut. Cool. And this is like a daily vitamin thingy. Mm. It's very dry. It's very dry. It's a Super dry. You right? You haven't tried it? No. no. Never. Guys, a cocoa pod. I actually found a real cocoa pod. I've never seen this like at a market. Peru has it, that's so cool. That was so much fun because they have a lot of fruits here in Peru that I, well, I haven't seen them in the country of origin. Like for instance, a cocoa pod or a star fruit, that kind of stuff. You should definitely check out the local market. So this is the Mercado one, where are we now? Miraflores. No. Miraflores. Hello. <laughs> are in the center of Lima walking towards the most important square in the city and in the country actually because the presidential palace is over here it's absolutely gorgeous it's really very European because people like to make things that look European here it's pretty I went shopping because this floof was just too real. I wish you could feel this. This is like so floofy and so nice. And it's amazing. Love it. It was 13 euros. It took me a long time. Marika, this is all your fault, bro. This is all your fault. All your fault. All of you. <laughs> We are currently at this beautiful bar where we are gonna have a pisco sour tasting. It's a gorgeous bar. Oh, over there is also like a, a restaurant area. Trying the pisco bunch cocktail. So this is pineapple, lemon, water and pisco, right? Yes. The first cocktail was made in California. The first pisco punch. Oh my goodness. So I love the pineapple flavor. This is such a strong cocktail. This is hardcore. <laughs> Three of these and I'm drunk. It's good. Let's do it. <laughs> She's down. What? No. No. Cheers, Marie. Cheers, Queen. <laughs> you like it? You tried it? Yeah, you're the queen. The queen I am the princess, she is the queen. Yeah, the princess. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. okay. Very tasty, but very strong. This tastes quite good. The pisco sour. 
like it. Going in for dinner. Buenas noches at this restaurant, La Fiesta. Looks really nice. Buenas noches. Ooh, nice. We got a little appetizer. So this is bread made from rice flour, cheese and butter. And it's presented so beautifully. I'm gonna try it. Ooh. It's super fluffy bread. With cheese on the inside. Real comfort food. I got a salad because I really, really can't get enough of the gorgeous avocados over here. Ooh, and grilled vegetables. So these are um, eggplants and artichoke hearts and what is it called? Asparagus. Yes. Nom. So many delicious veggies. I think these are some of the most beautiful desserts I've seen in my life. So these are like chocolate flakes. This is like squash something. I don't know what we have here. It's something with mint, I guess. And this looks beyond gorgeous. This one? Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay. Um, and this one? Mash the fruit out of with sugar. <coughs> and I made a kind of pudding with that. And this is called King Kong. King Kong. King Kong? King Kong. Okay. It's a very typical dessert from the northern area of the country. Really? Yeah. Half a layer, so. Nice. That food pour and though. And this is insane. Wow. Yes. I'm gonna try the first one, which was uh, actually chocolate filled with ice cream and some chocolate brownie around it. Is that like pisco ice cream? No. Tastes a bit like that. Trying that gorgeous little cake. I have to say it's a little bit dry, but the flavors and the textures are good. Oh, the topping man, and then the strawberry jam, and then caramel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Back in the same hotel where we stayed the first night and I'm just gonna go to bed. Tomorrow is our last day in Lima, Peru. Mm. Oh, okay, this is the first one that I would also say like, nah, nah. So if you would like to travel along, click that subscribe button and if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.